Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Hard drive here. Uno Cinco today, down by the Rio Grande. El Veno. This is uh, one of your two. Like if this is the last one, I figured I had it apart. I'd go through a couple things. People have said, hey hard drive, check this guy out. Look at this video. Well, it's about these and the turbos and the connexes. Let me get a few things straight here. The Turbo 4600 never came out with MOSFETs, okay? I've never seen them, so if that's the case, someone's playing the Houdini on the amplifier for MOSFETs. So make sure that if you ever have one in the Turbo 4600, that it's got Toshibas in it, otherwise someone played the Switcheroony on you. Now, they didn't always have Toshibas. Originally, that's what they had, is two Toshiba 2SC 2290s and then I don't know five six years ago they came out with a proprietary type of transistor those had the red tops on them they were the some people call them DEIs and other things no they weren't they were proprietary according to Chip at Ranger he's one of the engineers matter of fact I gotta give him a call talk to him because I'm hearing rumors there's no more Rangers and the suppliers are out. There's a couple left. Well, someone just ordered another N4, so you guys are wanting N4s. Don't wait till Christmas; they won't be around. And well, they will be, but then you gotta wonder where they came from. You know what a nightmare that is. All right, General HP40. It's got the four IRF520s, Max Mod, ready to rock and roll. I'll show you what it does. No, they're not quite as clean as the, the turbos. Especially with the turbos that have the real Toshibas. Just showed a couple videos on that. Are these a great truck driver radio? They're, yeah, awesome radio. If I was going to be out there freight hauling, daytime, no talking, you know, a lot of skip on sideband. You know, and I only had, you know, maximum 20 amps. The company allowed me to hook up to the truck. Didn't need no fangly dangly, a good dimmer, good echo, talk back, at least you could hear it to set it. I would take one of these, flip a switch on the front, high low power. I'll show you how it works here in a minute. These are still good radios, not as clean as the turbos. The made in Malaysia versions have been awesome, I'm really liking these. There's really no difference between these and the Connex, except for a couple of controls in the front, which I really like the dimmer on these, get a dimmer. So the old timers or guys with glasses, the dimmer works really good. There's the amp. There's really no other difference. <coughs> Plug it in. Hard to beat. Rock solid four to one, the real one. Not someone trying to show you that crap on a meter, you know. It doesn't exist on a meter unless everything is tuned on the tuned bench. No tuned bench, the four to one's not going to happen. See it? Nice. And low power. Hey, ain't that cute? Look at that one. Nice. Yeah, just a couple three watts, you know. It's all it takes to get the point across crystal clear. Let's see. Well, something else. Well, I didn't notice until right now you couldn't see everything. I don't know why the... It looks so different right now. Maybe it's the way I'm looking at it. Okay, there we go. Go down to 30 kilohertz. Like high power. 30 megahertz. You'll see a little bit, okay? That could be tuned out a little bit less power if you were running an amp. Yeah, that could be done, but that all has to go through the chain. 
in series to tune and balance everything out for you. <laughs> yeah, they're still usable. Low power. As you can see, less power. It is a MOSFET radio. But being able to clean these up to this point with the Max Mod, all the gate voltages set a specific way, this thing stays much cooler. Way cooler than a factory tune or like by the book tune. Way cooler, just like receive. It's got great ears. So uh, let's see, next up. I've been seeing this and it irritates me when I see these whacker head meter baiters do this shit. But notice how you can't see it. People try to hide shit from you. Don't let them pull it over your eyes, alright? Is that really important right now? No, that's really, really good. That going into an amplifier can be another, you know, bad scenario, but... Anyways, pay attention to what we've been showing you. Okay, pay attention to what everything is setting here, okay? This isn't no junk. If you notice, nobody... Let's see. Yeah, nobody can show you this. They try, and they probably got some inferior sampler, or some junk hooked up, or probably even... <laughs> some low pass filter you know doing this to you anyways you notice we can sit here and do this for quite a while can this radio do a little bit more power yeah can but as you can see I'm hammering the shit out of it right now I should get a th an infrared uh, flur. I'll, I'll get there one day. Just a ridiculous amount of money to, to show for just a couple of pictures, you know. But if you notice, the stability right on the money. No changes, no nothing. Crystal clear. And, uh, oh, by the way, they do come with these mics. Another thing that I do like about these radios come with this this isn't the one that goes in the box with this radio it's my own but but if you check it out one two three four five six seven let me look at it like this eight nine ten one two three four five six seven now let's zoom in a little bit because remember they're not showing you they snowing you. Audio seven eight nine time. Notice uh, all the sounds in my voice. Nothing's missing. Nine ten audio breaker breaker breaker. Yeah, even a general E and a general HP can perform like this without clipping, chopping, snipping. How's that thing go? Get it fine tuned, not peaked and ruined. There wasn't too much information into this one, but Alveno, this is one of your two. There's a couple of 655s. And Kevin, yours is coming up quick. A couple 955s and 655s. Get another General HP to get done. I forget where that one's going. <sighs> so, anyways going to be morning time for some of you guys. Be safe out there. Take care. Hard drive. 163. We're clear. Click, click.